dear children of god sisters and brothers in the lord we bring greetings to all of you in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ this meditation comes to you for the fifth wednesday in lent in our divine patience church we have been meditating upon important incidents in the passion week in the past four wednesdays and this wednesday which is the fifth wednesday which falls on the 25th of march unfortunately we are not able to meet together because of the situation of corona virus so we are bringing to you this meditation online thus far we have been meditating upon four wednesdays upon the uh, incidents of passion week beginning from the palm sunday and holy monday holy tuesday and holy wednesday today's meditation has three points based on the incidents which happened on holy thursday which we call monday thursday on this holy thursday several things happened first of all the greeks came to see jesus secondly jesus had the feet washing of the disciples thirdly jesus instituted the lord supper or ate the passover meal fourthly his prayer at gethsemane and fifthly the arrest after the prayer and sixthly the trial in the um house of the chief priests those are the things which happened on thursday but today i am going to meditate upon only three things three points as once again on holy thursday now the first point comes to you with the title the lord of all nations our first point today is the lord of all nations i take this particular theme from the incident of the greeks coming to jesus it is recorded in john's gospel 12th chapter verse 20 from verse 20 the greeks came to jesus see jesus and they were introduced to jesus and immediately jesus says the hour has come the hour has come what is that hour the hour of including all people into the kingdom of god so far jesus has been doing this by appreciating the centurion and appreciating the canaanite woman but today immediately before the thursday evening events the greeks were coming to jesus so jesus is very happy that this inclusive time inclusive hour has come the hour of breaking the boundaries the hour of including all people from all nations this is what isaiah expected in isaiah 66 therefore my dear friends i would like to name our lord in this incident as the lord of all nations this is a great theme in the gospels jesus challenged the jewish aristocracy that god is the god of all people god is the god of all people he is not an ethnocentric god who is concerned only about the jewish nation but god is is the god of all nations therefore let me finish my first point this comes the the first point is the lord of all nations let